Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and today we are going to have a look around the greenhouse and oh my goodness look how fantastic the greenhouse has been smartened up. I'm going to tell you all about it or maybe it's not me who's going to tell you all about it it's somebody else. But before we get on with the video, I want to give a shout out today to two people who are growing plants for my son Josh. But this is a bit more than just plants. These two people have gone to a more extensive arrangement. And the first person I want to mention today is Lorna Marr from Wexford here in Ireland. And Lorna was Joshua's music teacher in school for many years. And Lorna has planted up a border in her garden, a bed in her garden, <laughs> favouring the colour orange because Josh had red hair. He was our orange boy and um, she's used a variety of plants including Shizostelis, the late flowering lily from South Africa and orange day lilies which, um, which I'm sure will look absolutely fantastic. Now stay tuned to see a photograph of Lorna's border at the very end of this video. And the second person I want to mention today is in Princeton, in New Jersey, in the United States, and it's Jefferson Tryon. And Jefferson contacted me to say he's growing a whole plant wall for Josh. And this looks so, such an exciting thing. He's got a variety of plants in there, philodendrons, spider plants, a couple of orchids, zygos, fowls, I think, you know, <laughs> a whole load of things. And he built this wall using retail racks, wire racks, and holders for cups. I think the kind of holders you might use in a car if you want to carry your coffee. Anyway, it looks fantastic. So thank you so much, Jefferson, and thank you so much, Lorna. Okay, so in we go to the greenhouse. And I know you're just dying to have a look at all those lovely things. So nicely tidied up along the shelf but I want to first of all introduce you to the gentleman who's done this. <laughs> and here we go, here's Alberto. Hello. <laughs> so. Maybe, maybe they know my voice, but they don't know my face. I think, I yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of them, but. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so Alberto's from Orchidaholic Channel. Yeah. Which I'm sure lots of you know. And he's an expert in many things including growing orchids and he has an apprenticeship at the moment at the botanic gardens in pisa so his <laughs> knowledge is very extensive and he i am lucky enough that he has applied some of it here in my greenhouse and i was away all day today and i came back and see this fantastic display <laughs> so tell us what you did oh, was it horrible uh, uh, no not horrible <laughs> but it was uh, quite a lot of work yeah i had to well, we start together yesterday, uh, but today uh, I continued and I took off all the plants, cleaned everything, mm -hmm. and uh, put the plants back, trying to arrange them uh, in a pretty way, and taking up all the, the interesting things. Yeah. Okay. And what did you find that had come into bud or bloom? Oh well. That I hadn't known about. We have this hoya here. I think it's hoya bella. Oh. Probably, but I'm not sure. See, I didn't even know that was coming into flower underneath in the, in the greenhouse. Um, yes, maybe this quinum too is going to into flower. Is that a flower spike behind there on the side? Oh goodness, who knows? Might well be. Super, this one I brought back from Madeira. Oh, uh -huh. oh yeah. And which plants do you like the best? Alberto. I love this aeonium. It's an aeonium, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a pretty specimen. This is even bigger. Mm -hmm. This is huge. I love it. Yeah. It's good because it stands upright, yeah. I think. A lot of them <laughs> kind of just collapse about the place. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. I think that one's Velour. It's a hybrid okay. called Velour. I love it. And what? I love the, the foliage of the. Uh, a moth palace. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful leaf. Yeah. 
I like the trunk best. <laughs> so dangerous looking, I think. So, tell us a bit about this then, Alberto. Oh, well, this is a crinum, a pretty one in flower, full flower actually, and still a lot of, of buds to go. It's mad the way they come up. They keep on coming up from the center, yeah. isn't it? So if you deadhead them, if you take off the <laughs> spike, that's a big mistake. Oh yeah, you will have to wait a year, another yeah. year. And what's this now? This is an erin, and this one is in, is in bloom, and there are a couple more in buds on the shelf here. That's, I'll follow you. Lead on Maestro. One here. Okay. And one here. I can't see it. There it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of nerines can be grown outdoors here in Ireland if you give them good drainage. Can you, you grow them outdoors in Italy as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stay outdoors all, all the year round. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. And then we have the cyclamen. Mm -hmm. That will bloom pretty soon, but a few buds under the leaves. Oh, yes. These are hybrid cyclamen ones that are supposed to be used in the house. I think you would lose okay. these. Perhaps um, cyclamen persica, perhaps. Okay. Um, although normally when you buy them in garden centers here, it doesn't tell you the species name. Yeah. But if you put them in the garden, they might come back the next year, but then they probably go. <laughs> but they do very well in the greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, they do. Pretty foliage too. Yeah. And what did you discover yesterday when I was actually here? Oh yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah, this. The symbiotes are spiking. Let's see if one can, we can show. We have one spike here and more spike oh, yeah. on the other side. This is the monster one. Isn't yeah. It? But you've got some pretty good, very big cymbidiums at yeah, home too. They don't flower so often, but <laughs> I have good plants. And this one is, is spiking me too. Okay. Two spikes yeah. actually. Maybe this one is another spike. Uh, yes, so yeah, 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 could be. And was there one with buds somewhere? Oh, Perhaps. Yeah. Uh, Let's. Oh, here it is. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. Which is very soon. And I had thought this year what I'll do with my cymbidiums is I'll bring them into the greenhouse. Sorry, I'll bring them into the house right. and enjoy them in there, but it's too late for that one now. <coughs> if I move it, it'll blast. So, And there we have the pelagoniums. Yeah. Looking to rest. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the best you can say, really, at this time of year. <laughs> and you put all the big plants over here. Oh, yeah. Just in you go in there. Do you want to show us some of them? Uh, whichever you like, whichever you takes your fancy. From, from Madeira, right? Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lovely foliage. Yeah, it's looking a bit sad at the moment because I didn't water it enough during the summer. But it's still alive, so oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> and that alocasia over there in the corner comes from, that came from Sicily. Mm -hmm. In fact, the seed, or not the seed, the berry came from Sicily originally. And... Um, mm. I managed to germinate them and grew a couple of plants and then between the wheels and the roundabouts I lost a couple of plants but I do still have this one left so hopefully next year it'll do great things. It's and not hard to hear no, no, no. no. What do you think of the bouffon um, Alberto? The Absolutely. Isn't it super? Yeah. You should see my friend Liga's one. Hers is much bigger. Oh. We have terrible <laughs> bad competitions, you know. But mine is curlier. Mm. The leaves okay. are curlier. So, you know, I have to have some advantage over her. <laughs> and I like the way you put the snail on there. That's really nice. It's actually really lovely to come back into the greenhouse and to see how somebody else has arranged <laughs> it. You know, it's really nice. Because nobody else, is, uh, you know, would do that. So... It's just super.
we will put a link up above to your channel. Okay, yeah, go and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I just reached a thousand subscri subscribers. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Well earned. Uh, uh, well, well, I think we will see again here doing something else. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. A week ahead, more so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much.